beauties? It's your girl Chrissy M and welcome back to my channel you guys. So for today's video you guys, I wanted to show you guys or give you guys a video that allowed me to show you how to properly um, apply your foundation um, and also give you guys some tips on how to pick out the perfect shade for your skin tone you guys. So if you're ready and you're wanting to see and learn more about how to do makeup, Make sure you guys stay tuned and let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright you guys, so before we get into this video, make sure that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys go and click that subscribe button and the bell on the side so you are notified when I do upload new vides because you do not want to want to miss any of my videos that I'm going to put out for you guys because I have some good ones coming up. So, you guys, I have been wanting to do this video and I think that what inspired me to do um, this foundation video is because my sister came to me and she was like, I got this makeup, I got this beauty makeup and I don't think I have the right shade, I think I have 400, I'm like, Girl, I think we about the same skin tone. You're gonna be like a 420 and 50 degree like I am. So let me try this on you. So you guys, I've just gotten into doing, you know, matching up foundation shades up to, you know, different people's skin tones, skin types. I did a um, fashion show with a good friend of mine and I had the opportunity to actually do some of the girls, the models makeup. Um, actually the photo shoot and I had the opportunity to do some of the girls makeup you guys and it was like so much fun I love being able to blend in and figure out their shape and their color tones so you guys get to the first step you guys uh, before applying any foundation or anything to your face um, for me you guys I like to make sure I have a nice clear 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 clean face for me you guys I like to have a nice clean clear face before applying um, any product to my face because I do not want to experience any more pimples or breakouts onto my face. Um, and when you don't properly cleanse your face, you know, you're absorbed to all types of bacteria or anything that can get into your face that can cause the pimples to into your face. So having a proper skincare routine would be my number one step before applying any um, foundation, you guys. Um, I currently use Proactive. I'm using the original brand, not the MD, because the MD was a little bit more stronger for me. I also do a face mask about three to four times a week. That helps um, along with that as well, you guys. If you guys have not checked out uh, my face mask that I did just recently, I will tag it up above, you guys. One of my Favorite face mask, I would highly recommend it for you, especially if you have acne or scars, you're trying to fade them away and get them out of there. That this is the Amazon Indian Clay Mask is gonna be the one. Nextly, what I would personally do, what I would honestly do, my next step is have a great primer. Now my skin is more oily skin, so I, I, I've noticed a big difference once I use the primer, once I started using a primer um, within my skin and my makeup as well. Um, if you don't use a primer, if you have oily skin like I do, I would highly recommend using the Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. Let me see. This light just don't give me no type of light here. What's going on? I highly recommend you guys using the Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter um, Matte um, Primer, you guys, for the face. Um, and I use it every time uh, after I have a nice cleansing face. I use it every time I add on before I add on my foundation. So my makeup can last all day. Okay, you guys, so once you have your, your face cleansed, you got your good primer going on, foundation-wise, it's up to you to pick your foundation and what works for you. I have a few favorites that I have, but I have one favorite, as you guys probably already know, is the Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter um, Matte Foundation, you guys. This is my favorite holy grail, holy grail foundation that I use all the time, you guys. This is my favorite. This, was, this is what works for me. I would highly suggest if you do have oily skin again. Um, they did come out with a hydrating um, version of this, in which I did purchase it, you guys, but after wearing it a couple of times, I feel that it doesn't fit my skin type because my face is already oily. All it did was just bring out the oils in my skin, honestly. It did not work for me, but if you have oily skin, this one works for you. You guys, this is shade 420. This is the shade that I am during the winter time when, you know, it gets cold and you know your skin is lightening up on you and you're like, yes, I got a nice little lightness there going on. I got it, yeah, girl. Okay, so that, that, this is my color during the 
this time. Which honestly, you guys, I don't really get too much darker. There was one summer where I got so dark here in LA, but um, it hasn't gotten too much darker. So this has worked for me all year round. How to pick out your perfect shade from your skin tone, you guys. It's super easy, super, super, uber easy. Um, it's like looking at the wrist of your arm, right? Okay, so when you're putting on, when you're going to the, the Sephora or whatever, they're gonna go and they're going to like swap your arm or swap, to, they're gonna look on the inside of your arm to pretty much see what shade matches up to that. Now it's contingent on the veins in your, your skin. So mine's are like a little green, I'm gonna show you guys. So mine's are like a green. So if you're, if you're like me, you have like a little bit of a green in your arm, you guys. Um, then your um, your undertones are gonna be more of a yellow um, to, to to red undertone, okay? Um, so mine's got like a yellowish um, undertone. If you have more of a blue um, on your your veins here, it's more blue. You can see you're gonna be more of a pinkish, you know, tone. If your skin is darker, like really dark, then you know you're gonna have more of a reddish undertone. My undertone is more of a yellowish. Sometimes I can go with a little bit of red undertones. Like I said, it's contingent on um, the summer. If I really get like a deep tan like that, then I will be more of a reddish undertone and I do have some foundations that are more reddish. So make sure you guys take, make sure you're getting the right shade for your skin tone first and foremost, you know? Um, you're not getting foundation to match the pigmentation of your skin. If you wanted to mix and match, blend in different foundations um, for different colors, like say for instance, um, I'm I'm this color during the winter time, but then I'm dark. If I wanted to blend in just to kind of give me that medium outlook, I could do that. Um, so you guys, there's several tools that I use to apply my foundation. Um, one of them is like this like kind of slanted full brush. I have fallen in love with using this brush alone. Like this has become one of my favorite brushes. Um, I also use a beauty blender as well, you guys. I have a damp beauty blender that I use to kind of pat it through, but lately I've been using this brush and it's gonna get me through. So what I like to do, you guys, is I like to put a couple squirts, maybe about three, on my hand, right? I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to apply a thin layer of this foundation on my face because I wanna build this up. This foundation is buildable, it is full coverage, but I just want to build it up to give me a nice, like, smooth, like, natural look. We don't want it to be so cakey, but we want it to look like more natural, more of a flawless finish, if that makes sense. And as you guys can see, it looks really nice. It looks really smooth. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's just this foundation is amazing. So I'm going to go in, you guys. But again, I like to build it up. I like to add two coats to my face. Um, I'm going to build it up. Do another three pumps, you guys. And I'm actually going to be putting on with my beauty blender this time. Just to kind of give me a nice, like, pat out under the eye to really, you know, cover that under eye. Make sure you guys get your ears, get your neck, because you do not want to step out looking like dark light, light dark at the top or bottom. You know what I mean? You want to make it look really nice. It needs to be natural. Alright you guys, so once you are done adding on your foundation, getting your face fully face beat, I like to use a matte setting spray and I got this matte setting spray from MAC. It is the Fix Matte. Um, it's a setting spray you guys, I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite ones and it's almost gone honestly, it's time to get a new one. But I like to use this one you guys to keep my face matte and nice and smooth and flawless throughout the whole day. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit on that to my face right now. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's Makeup Monday video. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure you guys drop it down below in the comments down below. I'll make sure to fulfill all the needs and wants uh, for any makeup videos. And I will see you guys in my next video.
Thailand. <laughs>